Hey there, we'll be taking a look at how to edit the pricing page on your website. And since we'll be working in the web page builder, we'll also review some of the options you have at your disposal when building or editing web pages. Before we get started, it's important to note that the content displayed on the pricing page is completely independent from the membership plans you have set up on your website. So once you set up your membership plans, you'll want to edit this pricing page to make sure all the features and benefits you've included in your plans are communicated accurately. Here we have the default pricing page with this hero section at the top, followed by a list of three membership plans that we're offering, and then a brief FAQ section. We found that this layout works well for the majority of membership websites, at least to start, but you can of course edit all of this. So let's take a look at how we can edit this page along with some of the tools included in the web page builder. In our website's admin area, we'll go to My Content and Web Page Builder. And here we'll click the Edit button for the pricing page. This is the Web Page Builder. We'll run through some of the basic features here in the Web Page Builder so you have some familiarity when it comes time for you to edit any of your default web pages or if you'd like to create your own. Let's start up here at the top. Here in the text field is where we can enter the URL that we want to assign to this page. In this case, the URL for this page is setupmywebsite.com slash join. If you'd like to edit this, you can do so here. And in the top of the sidebar on the right, we have some page details along with some page options where you can select whether or not you want to display a sidebar, the position of the sidebar, as well as some other display settings. And right here under where you can edit the URL, you can edit the title and subtitle of this page. These two pieces of text display in the hero section of this web page. So you can see here by default, we have membership plan options, join our online community, which is the same text we have here in the title and subtitle fields. So speaking of the hero section, let's go into the hero section tab here in the web page builder. The first option here is whether or not you want to display the hero section on this page. And you can also choose to hide this section on mobile devices if you'd like to save some room on those smaller screens. Next, we have some settings for the hero image. This is where you can choose your own hero image to upload. We do recommend a size of 1800 by 600 for this image. You can, of course, go larger or smaller, but do keep in mind if the image is larger, then that probably means the file size is also larger, which will increase the load time of this page. You can also choose an overlay color and the overlay color opacity that will be placed on top of the image to help make your title and subtitle text pop a little bit more. And you can also choose to edit the top and the bottom padding of the hero section, which is simply the space between the top of the image and the top of the text and the bottom of the text and the bottom of the image. We also have the title text settings here in this section. You can choose how much width you want this text to take up in the hero section, the alignment of the text, whether you want it center, left, or right aligned. And of course you can edit the font color, size, and weight of your title and subtitle. You can also add additional content to the hero section here. And lastly, for the hero section, you have some options to add a call to action button. Next, let's go into the page content tab. This is where you can edit all of the content within the body of the page. So if we scroll down, you can see we have those three membership plans here, along with the frequently asked questions section. This all works very similarly to a word processor, such as Microsoft Word, which you're probably familiar with. Here in the top toolbar, you can choose the font of your text, whether you want the text to be bold, italicized, underlined, or have a strike through through it. You can choose the font size as well as the text color, a background color for the text. You can also insert links, choose icons, insert images, as well as embed videos. There's also a code view option. If you're at all familiar with HTML or CSS, you might want to occasionally come in here to fine tune some of the layout. But if you're unfamiliar with any of that, you can do all of your editing here in the standard display view where you don't need to mess with any code. And on the right end of the toolbar, we have some formatting options for the text, such as line height, text alignment, some list options, and you can insert tables. So let's talk about the membership plans here. Each membership plan here has a button that when clicked will take users to the sign up page for that particular membership plan. So it's important to make sure that these buttons link out to the correct sign up pages. So we can click one of these buttons and we'll be presented with this toolbar here. We can click the edit icon and here we can edit the URL that the button links to as well as the text that's displayed on the button. Let's make sure that this plan one is linking to the correct sign up page. In the website admin area, we'll go to finance and membership plans. And here's where we can see all of the membership plans that we have set up on our website. 
In this example, we want to get the sign up page URL for membership plan one. We can click this green button for any of the membership plans that says view sign up page. This will take us to the sign up page for this particular membership plan. All we need to do is copy the URL, in this case, slash checkout slash one. We can then go back to editing our pricing page and paste that URL here in the URL field for the button. In this case, the URL was already correct, so we don't need to edit that, but it is important to make sure to come here to the pricing page and make sure that your buttons are linking to the proper signup pages. Additionally, you can of course edit all of the text that you see here on this page. So instead of plan one, we might wanna call this the basic plan. And again, all of the information displayed on this page is independent from how your membership plans are actually set up in the finance section of your website's admin area. So we can edit all of this accompanying text. And in some cases, maybe you only have two membership plans. So you won't need to have three membership plans listed on this pricing page. If you click into any of these rows, in this toolbar that comes up, you can select the row icon and choose delete row. That will delete the entire row for that membership plan. So you can see here, we now only have the two membership plans that would display. If you want to display more plans on this page, then you can go into the right-hand sidebar under pre-made elements. Here we have a variety of draggable content blocks. We have single elements such as images, video embeds, buttons, text blocks, a contact form. But if you scroll down, you'll see some more complex elements such as text with images, column feature lists, the FAQ module, but also a membership plan content block. So we can grab this membership plan and drag it to the left into the page content. So now you can see we again have three membership plans listed here on the pricing page. We can go in here and edit any of this text to make sure that the information displayed is correct. Again, you'll wanna make sure to edit the URL of the button to make sure that it's taking users to the correct signup page for this membership plan. If we scroll down a little bit more, we'll come to the frequently asked questions section. Again, you can edit any of this text. You can also delete rows. And if you'd like to add more rows, you can do that as well by clicking the row icon and choosing whether to insert a row above or below. You can also do this with columns as well. So the web page builder, especially when used with the draggable pre-made content elements and through the flexibility of utilizing tables, is an incredibly robust tool that you can use to edit or create web pages. When it comes to the page SEO settings, if you're unfamiliar with SEO or meta tags, you probably won't need to edit any of this. However, if you do want to manually change any of these elements, you can certainly do so. One element in the SEO settings that you probably will want to edit though, is the social media shared image. When you share a link on Facebook, Twitter, or any other social network, they'll typically automatically pull an image from the page to accompany the link. If you add an image here, that image will be displayed with your link when this page is shared on social networks. This can help bring more attention to the link when people are scrolling their social network feeds and thus can help increase clicks to this page. A quick note while we're here in the SEO settings tab, you may notice strings of text surrounded by percentage signs throughout the admin area. These are text labels, so the system will automatically replace these text labels with the corresponding text you have set, typically in your general settings or the text labels section of the admin area. And finally, we have the advanced tab. This tab will typically only be used by developers or by you if you have any coding knowledge. Here's where you can add page level CSS, head tags, and JavaScript. So that's all there is to it. If you have questions, please reach out at any time. Our team is always happy to help and support you.